everyone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are all healthy and doing well. So the video I am doing today is something I've recorded before, but I wanted to redo. And the notes are from before COVID-19, before all the pandemic stuff. So I hope these tips are still going to be useful for you. And I think they will. I think it can um, go into different types of schooling as well. But the video is going to be my tips for back to school preparation. These are going to be all my tips for back to school preparation. So this is what I've done every single year before school starts in August or September. These tips I have used for years and it has just made my life so much easier when school does start so I can focus on that and not everything else kind of going on, all the craziness that can occur while you're in school and just need to focus on your work. This is actually going to be the first year that I am not going back to school in the fall. I have officially graduated and I am complete with schoolwork. So um, I'm going to pass these tips on and I really hope they help. If you are going to school this coming fall, I hope you stay safe and I hope your school helps you as much as possible during this time, whether it's virtual learning or you have to go back in person, whatever the situation is, I hope you stay safe. So tip number one is to get all of your appointments in. So that means like doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, even haircuts and things of that nature. I suggest getting all of these things out of the way so it's not a stressor for you when school does start and classes are going and you have work to do and papers to get done, homework, all that stuff to study for and um, you're kind of like distracted or you're like stressed out with appointments. So if you can get all your appoint your necessary appointments kind of done um, either, you know, before school or in your winter breaks, I would actually have my annual and biannual like doctor's appointments or dentist appointments or whatever it was in the summer breaks and the winter breaks of my school. Um, and that worked out fabulously. I didn't have to, um, you know, get out of school for the day or not go to class because I had those appointments. I aligned them so they would go coincide with my, um, class schedule or school calendar schedule and the breaks that go with them. So while it might not be like a fun tip, um, I think like this is one of the most helpful that I did over the years and um, I would definitely recommend. So my second tip is going to be block your schedule to create a routine for yourself. So when you know your school schedule, your internship schedule, work schedule, all of that stuff, kind of sit down one day, put it all together and block out times where you go to those things like classes and internships and then block out times where you study for those classes as well. Um, even like lunch breaks or study breaks or um, even like blocking out when you're home and you're not going to study at all just keep all the work you know away and just have your self-care time even blocking that out can be super helpful i really think this helps because if you are asked to go out with a friend go out to dinner go to a party whatever the case is while you're in school and an event comes up and you want to go to it's easy to see if you can or can't do any of those events based off your schedule so instead of overbooking or double booking yourself um, you kind of know what your days look like exactly um, it especially helps if you can know like your work schedule for instance like every week I know some type of jobs don't um, have like a weekly schedule it might change all the time but at least as much as you can have that like schedule of like okay I know I'm gonna be here I know I'm gonna be doing this um, I think it just can take a lot of stress away as a student I can definitely um, say that I uh, you want to go out with your friends you want to do something fun you want to take your mind off of things and that is a hundred percent great um, just knowing how to schedule it and making sure it's not like intervening with time that you need to be studying or doing a paper um, and just like kind of preventing yourself from getting overwhelmed and behind in work. My next tip is to print out your syllabus or ask for it from your professor, either one that you can do. I really love this tip because your syllabus is basically what is going to keep you on track for the whole entire school year. It should, usually in college, have um, all the due dates for upcoming tests and papers and anything really that has a due date. Um, the textbooks you're going to use, you know, any policies that you need to know for the class. So that syllabus really does usually hold everything you need to know for the school year. So I like even put mine in a little um, sheet from, it's like not a laminated sheet, but it's kind of like those little, uh, they're like the little, you know, plastic um, things that you can like put a paper inside to like prevent them from getting like dirty or ripped and things like that. So I highly suggest those. 
Um, but yeah, having your syllabus just out and highlighting the due dates because I really highly recommend that. That's what I did in my syllabus is I highlighted the due dates. Also, a lot of um, syllabi that I got had um, like how to do the paper, like exact instructions on how to do the papers I was about to write, like exactly what they wanted in the paper. Um, you know, everything from the font, the margin size, the format, um, and then exactly what they wanted when to, you to write about. So the syllabus really does usually have a lot of information. And along with that, I would highly recommend checking your school email before you start class because a lot of professors, at least in my um, experience, had emailed the class before school starts saying, this is exactly the book we're going to get. Um, this is what I, you know, want from the class before you start class, whatever it is. Um, usually it's about like a book or them even just introducing themselves. But um, I found that sometimes on the syllabus, the, the first day of school, um, if I don't have an email from a professor, sometimes the professor says, you know, we actually don't need this book on the syllabus or whatever the case is. Um, so if you do get an email beforehand from professors, sometimes it's really great to have that information. So definitely check your school email before school. I would actually even recommend to check it like constantly throughout the school year as well. Sometimes they cancel classes that way as well. So, so yeah. the next tip to prep for back to school is to buy your school supplies now. Make sure you have everything that you may need. Of course, you can get extra stuff after as well. But um, you may even have leftover school supplies from this previous year and I highly recommend using those because if there's nothing wrong with the pens and highlighters and you know um, blank pieces of paper use that. That's what I did every single year. I usually always had leftover pens and um, pencils and paper and binders and I just reused things. Um, I would just change out the tab name of the class. So definitely highly recommend kind of just getting those basics that you need ahead of time. You'll definitely see what you need as you go school supplies wise and um, binder notebook wise and things like that. But I also suggest just setting up your binder the way you like it or setting up your notebook the way you like it. If you like to be like that super organized nerd like I am. Um, I always had like my binder set up and ready to go and I can adjust it along the way if I needed to. But um, just having those things prepped in your bag for the first day of school so you can just take it out and start taking notes or whatever the case is, is really helpful. So the next tip is also a really big one for me at least. It was super helpful in preventing stress and overwhelm before back to school and that is just get your life in order, I guess, um, to sum it up. Basically, I mean by this, like clean your space, do your laundry, wash your makeup brushes, um, anything like that, like wash your sheets and bedding and pillowcases, like anything that um, is just kind of those like errands or chores to do um, to kind of prepare for your school year and get all of that done before school so you don't have to worry about that in the upcoming weeks or anything like that. Um, and kind of like establishing again back to that time frame if you really want to get technical you could even put in times to do chores and laundry and things throughout the school year if you really want to block that out as well um that could be helpful for sure i also love to declutter before school starts i'm a huge declutter fan um so just kind of like clearing my space making it fresh and feeling clean and organized before school starts was really helpful to me especially if you have like a desk space kind of cleaning that off before school and getting things ready setting it up um, again, just prevents stress down the road. And then lastly, just self-care. So before school started every year, I would make sure to do some self-care things of mine, which is just relax. And I know if I have a busy year ahead of me and some busy months, even like before midterms and things like that, I would make time specifically for myself. I would paint my nails, you know, um, go out with a friend, uh, just hang out with my family and just like making sure I allocate those times accordingly so I can feel stress-free before going into the school year. Whatever is self-care for you, that's like a healthy coping mechanism when you have stress, you know, just figuring that out. Um, I actually had some professors give us the um, assignment, which was really great idea, um, to create like self-care note cards. So even just getting those little uh, flashcards and writing down your healthy coping mechanisms or your self-care things like um, listening to music, watching a TV show, reading a book, um, you know, taking a bath, uh, I'll do a face mask. So it's just kind of like when you're at a certain level of stress, what are you going to do? You have this card now, you can um, prepare yourself, be like, okay, I'm really stressed out, what do I need to do? Look at your little self-care card 
and remind yourself of your self-care strategies. I definitely recommend just also making time for yourself during the school year. That's super important for your mental health and relaxation and making sure not to overwork yourself overall. So I really hope these tips help you and I hope you have a great school year, especially with everything currently going on as I'm recording this. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Please comment any tips if you have any um, in the comment section below for other people and maybe we can start a conversation on some of your back to school preparation tips that we can share with others. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.